Hey everyone, Evgeny here. Today we are taking a closer look at AI agents. So what they are, how they work, and whether they'll eventually commandeer your job, or just debug your code, at least for now. And imagine a little crowd of algorithms tirelessly doing the boring stuff, right? But make no mistakes, these aren't just little cute helpers. They're here to reshape how we think about work, tech, and maybe even who is really in charge. Artificial intelligence is evolving in breakneck speed, faster than those useless app updates that never seem to actually improve anything. But now we are past the era of large language models like ChatGPT being the only stars. Now we've got AI agents and think of them as the action heroes of the digital world, swooping it to automate tasks, solve problems, and maybe create a few new ones along the way. So think of AI agents as the next-gen upgrade from large language models like ChatGPT. Only in this time they come as a twist. While LLMs are just the brains of the operation, processing language, generating responses and making decisions, AI agents have a leg up. They've got hands too. And these agents don't just think, they act. They come equipped with tools to actually interact with the world around them. With traditional programming, you're the micromanager. Want to automate data? You have to spell out each and every step. How to read the data, process it, where to click, and how to render it. Every single detail. But with AI agents, it's a whole new game. Just tell the agent what you need, like sort this data and create a report. And it takes care of the rest. The agent breaks down the task, tackles each piece, and adopts on the fly. It's flexible and can handle tasks where the steps aren't fully defined or are constantly changing. The kind of unpredictability that usually sends traditional programming running for the hills. And one of the real superpowers of AI agents is their knack for using tools. Predefined functions or APIs that take them far beyond the realm of basic language tasks. This magic happens through something called function calling. In essence, the agent can trigger a function, like run a bit of Python code for a calculation, whether it needs to, and no need for you to hold its hand. The agent knows when to reach for the right tool based on the task. And this makes AI agents remarkably flexible and capable of handling a wide range of real-world tasks. And let's check out a few tools that show this capability. Code Interpreter this lets the agent run Python code to analyze data, perform calculations, or even whip up visualizations. Or the agent can sift through documents, extract key insights, summarize or compare data across sources. Thousands of PDFs or even spreadsheets to go through? Well, no problem. And now here's the game changer. Some agents can search the web in real time, gathering up-to-date data info and weaving it into their workflow. Imagine asking an agent to research the latest industry trends and deliver a neat summary, hours of work done in minutes. And ready to see some practical examples? So here's what AI agents can tackle this is. Uh, let's take for example trip, trip planner. Like if you are torn between vacation spots, an AI agent can analyze options and suggest a destination based on your preferences. Or let's be creating Instagram post. So crafting posts can be tedious, and AI agent handles everything from image selection to caption writing, getting it ready to publish. Or let's take something else like marketing strategy. So building a marketing strategy from scratch is a lot of work, but agent can gather ideas, analyze trends, and put together a plan, cutting down on your effort. And what's the point here? I mean, there aren't complex apps built by a team of pros. They are just simply hello world demos anyone can throw together in minutes. And also think of the time it would normally take to code something like this from scratch, like days or even months. But with AI agents it's almost instant and you don't need a single line of code. And AI agents come as a secret weapon. Memory. Yes, that's right. They actually remember past interactions and use that info to get better over time. So the more you work with them, the smarter they get. Imagine an agent that remembers how you like your report structure. And pretty soon it's delivering outputs that match your personal style. Talking to an AI agent isn't just a one-off exchange. It's the start of an ongoing relationship. The agent keeps a thread 
like a personal memory log where it tracks everything, your preferences, inputs, completed tasks, the whole work. And this way it can handle long-term projects without needing a refresher every time. One AI agent is handy, but bring a few together and you've got automation on overdrive. Multi-agent systems allow agents to collaborate, share intel and tackle larger tasks that need a range of skills. Imagine this. One agent gathers the data, another processes it and a third crafts the final report. They, they work together, passing the bottom seamlessly to get the job done faster and with a greater accuracy. Today we are using Agent GPT for the demo. Oh, setting up an account is pretty straightforward and the tools free up to a point. So it's perfect for trying out AI agents. So what do we have here? First up, uh, let's talk about what powers every AI agent, the LLM. And this Agent GPT, even on the free tire, you already uh, set up with GPT 3.5. And here's the point. So you get a good idea of what an agent can do right out of the box. And if you need a bit more horsepower, then pro accounts can access GPT-4. And next up, the hands of our agents, its available tools. And yep, they're here. Right out of the box, we've got tools for uh, image generation, web searches, and even writing code. And if that's not enough, you can add your own tools. And notice there is no strict rule on when or how to use these tools. It's always up to the agent to decide, like choosing to write a Python script and run it if the task calls for it. All right, moving on. What makes up an agent? In Agent GPT, it doesn't take much. Just give it a name and set a clear goal. The more detail you put into the goal, the better it'll handle the task. All right, today we are letting an AI agent lose on the internet with a single mission, find out just how much info it can dig up on someone. So, please meet Search Shield GPT. Here's the goal we have set up for our agent. And this is conduct a, conduct a thorough internet research uh, to complete a privacy exposure report on an individual named Jordan Blake, identify the and categorize information by distinguishing between different individuals sharing the name, creating separate profiles or buckets based on notable characteristics, such as professional location or something else, and gather accessible personal information, social media presence, publicly available records, and data trends for each profile, and assess potential privacy risks and provide a threat level for each distinct profile based on the volume and sensitivity of information found. So let's dive in and see how our search shield GPT tackles this. All right, the agent is up and running and look at this. It's already created its own list of starting tasks and jumped right in. And as it works, if it realizes something is missing, it'll just add a new task, then another and keep going until it's satisfied with the results. And also check here the log messages. This is like a chat history for the agent. So every bit of communication shows up here. So if something goes wrong, this is the place where we will look to figure out what happens. And this is it, the privacy exposure report and all organized by profile. So see, we have here a John Blake photographer and artist. We have a musician and an athlete. And everything is put into their own buckets and with some recommendations and and, and we have this privacy report for everyone. But anyway, that's it for the demo. Just think if this AI can pull all this up in one go and imagine what it could find you next research project. All right, we made it to the end of this video and hopefully things are a bit clearer now on what your agents are and why it's worth getting ahead of the curve before the rest of the world catches on. And yeah, check the next video on the topic. It's here. And that's it for today. I'm Evgeny. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.